Hello! So, there's no intro or anything like that because I don't, one, I don't have one, two, don't really know how to make one just yet anyway. <laughs> so this is going to be a learning curve. Basically I've been watching uh, a bit of YouTube recently and I fancy having a go at creating some content myself and uploading a video or two and see how it goes, see whether I like it, see whether I don't. If I don't, well, I'll just stop. <laughs> If I do like it, then I'll carry on, and you never know, this may be one of the first videos of many more to come. Uh, essentially, what the idea, the concept, is, um, I know what I like, uh, photography, uh, travel, and sort of adventure sort of stuff. So, given the fact that we, it's summer now, so I get out and about quite a bit, uh, at the weekend anyway. We go to places, uh, take some pictures, go for a hike, thought we'd take pictures and take video anyway, so why not see whether we can actually do anything with it. So that's the idea that we'll see what we can do with what we do anyway, and maybe other people will like it as well. Uh, so that's the concept. Now, I've not done video editing before. I've done image processing, so your Lightroom, mainly like Lightroom to be honest, uh, and processing raw, raw files. But I've not done any video editing and I don't really have any experience with any video editing software. So one of the first things that I'm going to have to learn and find out about is video editing, processing, the actual video clipping and tweaking the sounds, colours perhaps, I don't know, I don't really know what's involved to be honest. Um, I'll need to find something that's free to start off with because I don't, want to, I don't want to be spending loads of money on something that I might potentially use once. Um, and yeah, I'll need to learn how to use it I suppose. Uh, and then see what sort of equipment I need. I've already got some. Uh, because of photography, obviously I've got a DSLR and I've got a couple of lenses. I've got the camcorder which is recording this. I don't have an external mic. Um, I was considering getting one today, but to be honest, I don't really know which one would be good. So the video, the, the actual audio on this probably quite rubbish. And it definitely would be no good when in windy conditions out and about. So I'll need to sort of see what I use to actually record the video, whether I use a DSLR or whether I end up using the camcorder or even perhaps a phone. Um, so we'll see about that. Once I know what I'm using to record then I'll be able to actually get the right microphone for the conditions and the, for, the, for the right camera that I'm going to be using. At this point, this being recorded, I haven't got the well, any video editing software on my computer at all. So, I have a rough idea of what I'm going to use, because I've done a bit of browsing and googling before I recorded this. So I have a rough idea, I'm going to download it and see how it goes. Um, I imagine the first uh, video, or the first few videos, are going to be very basic. So bear with me, uh, and we'll see if we can improve on that. I just think it may be quite interesting to see how it all progresses right from the start. So rather than seeing someone who actually knows how to do this stuff already and sort of gets better at it, this is me basically going from scratch. I don't really know anything about video editing or vlogging or anything like that, whatever you want to call this. Um, so this is my sort of journey from start, from scratch, don't really know anything to wherever it goes. Maybe one video, maybe two videos, maybe, I don't know, a hundred, a thousand, don't know, we'll see. I'll probably get back to recording some more segments for this later on. I'll try to get the software tonight so that I can potentially record another clip for this video tomorrow, although tomorrow, Thursday, Thursdays, I get back from work quite late so we'll see how it is to start off with. Processing is probably going to be very time consuming because I've got no clue what I'm doing. Uh, 
I've made, in the past, I've made a few slideshows, if you like, in, I don't know, was it Movie Maker, Microsoft Movie Maker, you can download for free, but it's essentially just a slideshow with a soundtrack underneath, clip onto it, and it's nothing special, really, it takes five minutes to make, whereas this is probably going to be a bit more challenging, well, definitely it's going to be more challenging if I want to do it at the level that I'm sort of aiming at. Okay, so I suppose I'd give you a roundup of basically the gear that I'm starting off with. It's it's mainly photography stuff because, like I said, that's that's basically mainly what I'm most interested in. So that's what I've got. I don't really have any video recording equipment too much. I mean, I've got the camcorder which is recording this, and I suppose the DSLRs are capable of recording video, but. I think I've only recorded two videos on them and that wasn't very good. So, going from left, you've got the uh, Nikon 16-35mm VR, f4, sorry, f4. Then you've got the Nikon 70-200mm f2.8 VR2. Then, on the right, there's the Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter. I can't imagine that's going to be very useful for vlogging, but that's, you know, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'll record wildlife or something. Then in the center, you've got a ring flash. Essentially, it's like an LED flash. It's quite cheap. You can get it off Amazon. Then my Nikon D800 uh, with a GPS. Uh, unit on top of it and the same GPS unit is on the Nikon D7000 here. Uh, D7000 has got a 18 to 200 millimeter lens on it. Uh, good versatile lens if anyone needs something to walk around or take on holiday with them for their crop sensor camera. Um, on there you've got the 35 millimeter prime uh, Portraits really. I might actually use it for some video later, but we'll see. Um, and the Nikon 40mm macro lens. Now, these two, along with this one, they're crop sensor camera, well, crop sensor lenses, if you like. So they're designed for cameras like the D7000 there. So I can't really, well, I could use them on the D800. But it wouldn't be very good. And then in the background there's the uh, Canon Pro 100S Pixma printer. Right, so what's happening now is uh, I've got my laptop out. And it's time to download some video processing software so I can actually stitch this video together. Another thing I need to find out is where do I get some background tunes from background music that doesn't really have copyright on it that it's going to cause me issues on YouTube. What I decided to go for, in terms of video editing software, for Lightworks. So that's basically what it is. It, if you're just a casual user basically like me, you can get a free version of it, which doesn't cost you anything. And then I think if you register that you can just keep on using it for free, but you can't be using it to make proper movies or something. I don't know. I need to look into it. But for the time being, this is what I'm going to be using. Uh, next thing I want to find is something that will allow me to record from the screen of the laptop rather than having to use a camera or something I can actually download directly from the computer just because that's going to look a lot better but i'm not sure how well the laptop's going to actually cope with that so right so i i now have a screen recording software which is going to help i decided to go for um i'll try to stick like a screen grab of it um or in this video somewhere so that you can see what I'm actually using and how it works. 
So the reason why I went for OBS Studio is because it's free. Really, that's the main reason. It's free and it does the job for now. The only problem I can see with it is it records audio from the built-in microphone in the um, in the laptop. So I think I may have to completely just remove that audio and replace it with audio recorded on out perhaps with a camcorder or from an external microphone later on but we'll see how it goes okay so i'm looking for some background music or some sort of soundtrack to stick in the background of the video because i just think it makes a big difference so i came i literally just did a quick search on google and I came across this freemusicarchive.org and to me it looks like it's basically a website where you can listen to and download tracks for free now different tracks are supposed to have different licenses attached to them so you have to read up on each individual track before you download it and use it for whatever you want to use it ok so I have now basically outline the gear that I've got. I've downloaded the uh, video processing software, I've downloaded the uh, screen recorder and I found a place where I can get some free background tunes from. So this is pretty much everything I wanted to cover in the first video. Uh, and I suppose by the time you've seen this it's all been done and uploaded so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Till next time.